The latest victim of this gun violence is just 10 years old. Nicole Stewart was killed in a drive-by shooting while inside her home in KCK. And KMBC 9's Peggy Bright is live now at KCK Police Headquarters. Peggy? Kelly, investigators tell us they are pounding the pavement in an effort to find the killer or killers. Meanwhile, McColl's family is heartbroken. <laughs> McColl's mother and grandmother could not contain their grief. McColl was at a family gathering at this KCK home last night when someone let loose a barrage of gunfire. Everyone hit the floor, but McColl was struck. A family spokesperson says relatives believe the intended target was McColl's 19 year old brother. Come forward, this baby didn't deserve it. She didn't. She did not get to live her life at all. She was 10 years old. McColl was a fifth grader at Edison Elementary, a praise dancer at Forest Grove Baptist Church, <laughs> and a proud member of the Gateway High Steppers drill team. The ad hoc group against crime joined the family at Forest Grove Baptist Church today to share the pain and disbelief and ask the community to show intolerance by calling in tips. A few days ago, we were on the Cancer Missouri side with a six year old, and here we are today with a 10 year old. Kansas City, Kansas police say no piece of information is too small or insignificant. The police department is pulling out every stop to solve this crime as quickly as possible. And tonight at 6, how McColl School is helping students and staff. We're live in KCK, Peggy Bright, KNBC 9 News. And across the state line, Kansas City police searching for suspects in the shooting death of Angel Hooper. The six year old was shot outside a gas station at 107th and Blue Ridge. Detectives say they got several tips over the weekend, but they still need your help. The reward for information leading to an arrest now stands at $21,000. If you know anything that could help police, call the Crime Stoppers Tips Hotline 816 474 TIPS.